Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what is in my bag. I just came home from F&M. It is very late at night. And yeah, so this is a bag. I've had this bag since NYU freshman year, so 2005. And I went with my friend to buy it and I still have it. I love it. I mean, it's a messenger bag. So I bring with me my tray binder. Um, the tray binder just has regular cards not anything terribly valuable. I don't bring my most valuable tray binders with me, uh, mainly because why would you do that? Because you're not going to like, you're going to F&M, at least F&M where I go to, a lot of standard, a lot of limited, a lot of uh, booster drafts. So there's no reason to build, bring like high priced modern staples because no one plays modern. Next, I bring a play mat. And this is the play mat of choice. Um, I always have a play mat uh, because it it's nice like it delineates like where you're playing and it also helps uh, It's nice and it offers the chance to talk to someone to give someone an interesting topic a lot of magic players where I play because my store is like uh, One of the stores I go to is a regional Yu-Gi-Oh store. So there's a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh players who also play magic So that play mat is very interesting um, I next I bring Depending one of my stores, one of these stores I go to is a Pokemon Go station, so I always bring this. The other store, a Pokestop, and the other store is not a Pokestop, but I go to the other store more often than I go to the Pokestop store, uh, mainly because the other, the store I go to mostly is owned by my friend, and I like supporting my friend. Next, I bring a pair of uh, dice. These are the ideal dice. These can keep track of your life. These can keep track of tokens, these can keep track of pretty much everything. Um, and then my Nintendo 3DS. I haven't upgraded to the 3DS XL, um, the new 3DS, because i just been too lazy. This is the game I'm playing right now. It is Legacy of Legends, or Legend of Legacy. And it's a grind, it is a grind, but I really do want to figure out what happens. It's such a grindy game, like it's a Japanese RPG that goes back to like the original Final Fantasy where you just grind out against these monsters all the time. I bring a pack of sleeves. I always try to have like a, a new pack, mainly because the new pack has 50 sleeves, which is enough to draft. And then I bring my uh, draft deck. And it has sideboard, it has, you know, it's, it's just a draft deck. So that's what I have in my bag. Uh, what do you guys have in your bag? Do you guys have like stuff that's different from mine? Um, normally I have breath mints too, uh, not really for me, but for my opponents as well. Um, some candy, and one of the things that I, I did was I bought the monthly, what was that box that I opened? The Yum Universal box, um, and I bring that to my local game store and we all eat it and we try it out. Um, it's not bad, it's not like very good. Like the Taiwan box was not amazing, but I also like to bring food uh, to my local, like snacks and um, Soda, I don't have any problem buying like a 12 pack of soda so we can all drink it. And you know, it's um, the store that I go to most of all, they don't have soda, they don't really have food. It's a video game store that after 6 p.m. on a Friday, it becomes like an FM center. But during the regular hours, it's just actually a video game store and they don't carry magic merchandise. Um, they buy magic merchandise to sell to my friends and I, but they don't carry it. So it's a very unique store. I am going to give you a tour of it, so hopefully sometime soon, um, when I remember to bring this camera. This camera right here, which I'm filming on, is not a cheap camera. And the last time I did a DSLR, it was stolen at, um, you know, at the store, and at this particular store. So I'm kind of like, eh. Anyway, um, yeah, so, yeah, hopefully I'll have a uh, store tour for you guys. I know you will enjoy that of uh, both these stores I go to. I've been meaning to get one of the uh, Pokey Stop store as well, but I, it's just uh, rather busy. Whenever I go, obviously it's extremely busy and it's you know very loud. They have loud music all the time, but uh, hopefully we go sometime where there's less uh, noise. Anyway, bye guys.